Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, you'll see how to utilize maintenance requests for guest rooms and hotel common areas. A maintenance request lets us know about an issue that needs attention but isn't serious enough to prevent you from selling the room, or the room is currently occupied. Entering a maintenance request does not remove rooms from inventory. To do that, you'll use the out of order function instead. Before your hotel can use maintenance requests, you must first set up maintenance reasons. From GM functions, expand the miscellaneous codes header, then select the link for maintenance request. The top half is a list of guest room maintenance items. We can modify the list using the toolbar or inactivate any item on the list by marking the inactive checkbox. Our sample hotel has a pretty exhaustive list, but it's not necessary to include every possible maintenance item. You may decide to create just a few general maintenance categories and let users include more details about the problem when they create the request. I'll show you how that works in a minute, but first let's look at the lower half of this screen. It's identical to the top half, except instead of listing guest room maintenance items, these are non-guest room areas of the hotel. Again, keep in mind that users can include additional details when making a maintenance request, so this list can be as extensive or as general as you'd like. Now let's take a look at how to enter a maintenance request. You'll find this in the housekeeping module, right here in the view menu. As usual, there's a toolbar along the top, and below, we see there are a handful of maintenance requests already in the system. I'll click the toolbar's Add button to create a new request. Cloud PM adds a new blank line for us. Now we can select a guest room from the dropdown, or if we scroll all the way down, we find our list of non guest room areas. After selecting the room or area, I can go straight to my Reason dropdown. If you're wondering why I skipped all these, it's because Cloud PM will fill these in automatically, and these other two don't apply until the request has been completed. Now I can enter some details about this request. There's plenty of space, so we don't have to leave out any important information. If you make a mistake and want to start over, click Cancel. This looks accurate, so I'll click Save and my new maintenance request is complete. When the work has been completed, change the status column to closed and save the change. Notice that closing a request does not delete the request. If your hotel doesn't want to keep a record of past maintenance requests, you can discard a request by highlighting it, then clicking delete from the toolbar. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.